Hey guys, it's Folk Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm opening up a box of the 2009-2010 Series 1. This is a treat. It is a retail box. I'm a proponent of the retail boxes because they're way cheaper than the hobby boxes and they do have six young guns per box. So shooting it on my little camera today, on my little uh, phone for change, uh, hugely excited about this particular box because 2009-2010 was a great rookie crop. It included Johnny T, but also Victor Hedman, Matt Duchesne, Evander Kane, JVR, Victor Stahlberg, Jamie Benn. I think it even had Eric Carlson. And if you can't hit all that, you could still hit a Michael Newberth or um, a Cal O'Reilly, uh, Alec Martinez, a bunch of stuff, so a bunch of good things. The other thing about the 2009-2010 is just how stacked it was with interesting inserts. Uh, there are these all-world cards. There are these like Canadian cards uh, that are sort of look like Maple Leafs. There are game jersey cards. Uh, there are draft day gems, and these are these later ones are kind of like short lists that like the draft uh, game gems had uh, Mark Andre Markov, Luke Robitaille, Theo Fleury, uh, Hextall, and I think they are gems in the sense of lower draft picks that worked out really well, um, like Dominic Hasek for that matter. So these are the things we're look, looking for. A bunch of other inserts, uh, also game used jerseys and short prints and so on that are numbered. So there's all kinds of good stuff. So let's open this thing up. Uh, hopefully my camera is functional and, and you can see what I'm doing here. I might have to toy with it a bit um, as I come correct and correctify my approach here. Uh, but here we are. This is the box, and you can read on the side, if you can read on the side, uh, all the small print of all the goodies that are inside. Uh, again, this would happen to be a retail box, and retail boxes are wonderful because the price point is right. This cost under $40, if you can imagine that. So this is what we get. We get our two across because it is a retail box, uh, but it is stacked. It's stacked with stuff. Uh, as you can see, um, how many, I, uh, let me just uh, tell you, it's 24 packs per box with eight cards per packed, uh, pack, and that's what we're looking for. And then you have the Sid, the kid. Uh, and let's see if we get an Eric Carlson or someone good. So let's, let's start uh, smacking these bad boys open and see whether we get some of those inserts and whether we hit some of the uh, big bad boy Young Guns. All right, so they're a little bit busy, these ones. The design's a bit busy, but they're cool nonetheless. There's Noah Welsh. Oh, I already have a game used jersey, I think. Craziness. I, I can't see what it is, but I did hit one of the game used jerseys in the very first pack. You might have seen it. I didn't see it. Uh, let's continue on here. There's Tom McPlanics and Thomas McClanic and TJ Oshie. Really nice looking card. I kind of dig it. Do you dig it? I dig it. So we did get a game jersey. I'm just putting it aside. I'll take a peek at it in a hot, 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 hot New York second. Uh, these packs actually open up really easily for a change, which is really nice. Can you see these? Hopefully you can see them. Hopefully I'm in focus. There's Pecorini, Keith Yandel, Dennis Weidman, Rob Blake, Rob Blake with the Sharks, uh, Derek Broussard, Brian Campbell. So nice looking cards. Uh, they look very, they look, you know, it's funny. The design looks almost like the 2015-16 full force cards. And some other cards that sort of have this uh, geomo geometric square look to them. Uh, let's continue on. There's Johnny Oduya. Jason Spezza. Uh, Jason Arnett. Brian Malone. And that would be Chad LaRose. Uh, there are some high gloss cards and uh, exclusives, I think, typically. I might miss them because usually that's written super, super small. Um, if I miss inserts, just let me know. Chris Osgood, there's Henrik Lundqvist, there's Tori Mitchell, Claude Giroux, Jesse Winchester, Jacob Borsek. So that's basically it. I'm just gonna see quickly if I'm missing any inserts. That these cards are so busy, I can't tell whether I'm missing inserts. Uh, but they're nice looking cards. I like them. 
2009, 2010. So we would be looking for a Jamie Benn. We would be looking for an Eric Carlson. We should get six young guns. Oh, here's our first young gun, and it's Mike Santarelli. Young gun number one, Mike Santarelli. So you see the look? These are the look of the 2009, 2010, which is the look of the Johnny T young gun, which would be the one that we'd be looking for. Uh, but that's, that's okay. It's not, not the best one, but we're guaranteed five more. So that is good. Mark Strait. Another young gun. Oh, we got Antti Niemi's young gun. Great. As a Habs fan, I love that. So we hit Antti Niemi's young gun. Very cool. So, so far, this is the point. The point is all the young guns are actually sort of known names. We might get a couple of nobodies, but we're guaranteed to get a couple of semi-stars and maybe even one star uh, if we can ride the math properly. This is why this... I mean, six young guns. Oh, here's here's a Top Guns. Top Guns is a subset. It's a small subset. I don't think it's more than, how many is it? I'll take a quick, 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 quick look. Top Guns would be, huh, it's a, it's a seven card subset. And we got Iggy. The other ones would be Semin, Parisi, Malkin, Eric Stahl, uh, Thomas Vanek, and OV. So this is probably the second best one after OV. Although, whether you like OV or Iggy, I mean, they're pretty much both wonderful players. Iggy was a total champ. Continuing on, there's Jonathan Taves, Jarrett Stoll, Wade Redden, and here we have a face off, a face of the franchise. Cool. So the face of the franchise is, there's only 14 of them, and we hit the Sidney Crosby. That's cool. So this is what I'm talking about in terms of inserts. We do get all kinds of inserts. Face of the franchise. So, I mean, I really, uh, of all the Series 1 and Series 2s, I definitely recommend the 2009 just because you are guaranteed to hit a semi-star young gun, and the inserts are all really cool. Worth collecting. Most of them are short. Uh, short in terms of their uh, checklist. There's Johnny Quick doing the Johnny Quick move. This side to side, there's Max Talbot. And here we have an all-world team, and it's an Eric Stahl for Canada. So here's another insert, all-world team. I might buy another box of these. As I said, it's under $40. It's worth it if you want to aim for the uh, John Tavares Young Gun. Or Eric Carlson, although Eric Carlson is not my favorite. Eric Carlson, sort of, he's on the he's on the ice for too many goals and against. And here we have another all-world team in a Jason Spezza. And so that's the second one for Canada. There's George Laroque, the, uh, the bad bruiser. And we're not even making a dent into these retail bad boys. Here's Patty Sharp. Matt Carl, Keith Kachuk, Steve Bernier, Timo Solani. That's a really nice one of Timo Solani. Dig it. Patrick Berglund, there's Steve Mason. There's Phil Kessel. Looking spelt for Phil Kessel. He usually looks like a human bowling ball. And we do have a checklist. And so we hit our first checklist and it's Sid the Kid. It's an aggro look on his face. So that's 200. It's number 200, it's one of the checklists. I'll just annotate that. I always love the checklist. Of course, in the old days, people would write on the checklists and, and that's why they are of greater value. For example, the 172, which is Marcel Dion and Gila Fleur's rookie year, uh, the OPG, which are sort of these cool white bubble-looking cards. Um, that checklist, the yellow checklist, is so rare. It's one of the rare cards in the game because it's always all marked up. And we got JVR's uh, Young Gun. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're doing good. I mean, we got Nyemi, Nyemi as a Habs fan and JVR if you're a Leafs fan. How cool is that? So look how good this thing looks. It's a pretty Young Gun. I love it. 
Very cool. So, I mean, I think we're already happy with, with the break because we did get a couple of interesting things. Very happy thus far with the break. We still have three young guns left, of course, but, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm always resigned when, when it comes to the Series 1, Series 2, just because, uh, oh, is this another young gun? It is, and we got Michael New Earth. New Earth. So we got another one, and, and another known player, too. Neuwirth, I guess, is the way we pronounce his name. Cool. So we got two goalies, and I'm a goalie, too, so I always appreciate that. So we already got, we've already gotten four of our younger guns, and they're all known players. So that's excellent. And that's what, why I really like this 2009-2010 box, because all the young guns, most of them are great. And then we got a season highlights insert, again with the Crosby. Sydney the Kidney. Crosby becomes the youngest player in NHL history to captain a Stanley Cup winner at 21 years old, 309 days. Very nice. Okay, so that's the season highlights. That's another uh, subset or checklist. And the season highlights are, let me just see. Uh, season highlights, this is the card that they show in the photo and there are only seven of them. Only seven cards, and we got the Sid, the Kid, which is number one on that particular checklist. So we're hitting all our answers. This is really cool. I'm loving this break for under $40. What is there to complain about? Absolutely nothing. And we have a Draft Day Gems, and it's Marty Turco. And, and so the, the thing is, in the top left-hand corner, it shows that he was drafted in the fifth round, so that's why it's a Draft Day Gem. The draft day gem um, are, is a checklist of only 14. Uh, and it goes from Zetterberg all the way to Mark Messier would be number 14. So that's another insert. There's Carey Price. This is just, this has just been a, a blast to open up. Recommend it. Uh, you can get them from Steel City Collectibles for $39.95 right now. Uh, and, a, and a chance of getting a John Tavares. And here we have another insert, and it's a Hockey Heroes. And we got a Marty Brodeur of the Hockey Heroes. How cool is that? We're just, we're really doing so well with this. Very cool. I mean, the only thing we're missing at this point would be to get a signature, a signature sensations, which are really rare to get the autos. That would be fun. There's Bobby Ryan, Daniel Alfredson, Peter Budai, Anzai Kopitar, there's Iggy, and there's Ryan Perron. Still a few packs left. Yeah, these packs are really opening up very, very easily. They're probably the easiest cards that I've ever opened up. Usually you have to fight with the packs. And we have another, crazy, we have another Hockey Heroes and it's another Marty Brodeur. So now I'm curious about this particular checklist as we're at it. Uh, so we'll call these Hockey Heroes. If I can just find these bad boys super quick. Find Hockey Heroes. Hockey Heroes, it's a, it's a Marty Brodeur set. So there's only 11 cards in the set and they're all Marty Brodeurs. So thus far we've gotten card 10 and card 17 of this subset. So that's an interesting subset to pick pick up. Yeah, this is as good as I've seen for Series 1. I usually like Series 2 because they throw in victory cards or OPG cards now. They throw in sort of these low-end cards whereby you can hit the key rookies um, in a low-end product as inserts. There's Marty Brodeur. There's Simon Gagne. There's Paul Stashny. Eric Stahl. Not Eric Stahl. Mark Stahl. His brother. Three or four packs left, guys. As we keep on hammering through these. Oh, another, and we got TJ uh, Gillardi. That's our fifth young gun, I believe. Is that our fifth young gun or our last young gun? It's, it's one or the other. So that's another one. That's sort of our, our closest thing to a no-name at this point. Uh, we still could get an Eric Carlson or a, or a Victor Hedman still a possibility we could still theoretically get one more 
Tobias Enstrom. Oh, and our last young gun is Tyler Myers. Nice, another name player. How cool is that? So, I mean, this is the point. The point is you're gonna get really good name players uh, now, I'm really going to buy another box of this under the guise that I should be able to hit the, the Carlson or the uh, or the Johnny T or the Victor Hedman. But we got really, really decent young guns. Every single one was decent. I have no complaints. Nicholas Backstrom. And then we have another draft day gem, and it's Pavel Datsuk. And you notice he was drafted in the sixth round. How cool is that? Okay, so that's another one of those bad boys. I don't know where to put it. And we have, what, two more packs. Uh, we are guaranteed a game jersey, and I believe I set it aside. I don't know if you saw it. So we'll have that in a minute. And this is, and then we have Face of the Franchise. Uh, we had another one before, and it was the Sidney Crosby. And now we have the Marty Berdur. This is a Marty Berdur hot box, isn't it? And now we have a checklist. It's our second checklist. So I guess this is card 199. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And it is Roberta Luongo. So that we can put alongside our other checklist. So we have one more pack here. Um, we had had something that appeared to be a game jersey. So I'm just going to sort of see what it is. And it's a game jersey, and our game jersey is Marc Antoine Pouliot. It's Marc Antoine Pouliot of the Edmonton Oilers. Nice, very cool, very very nice. I don't think it's numbered. Now there may be some exclusives that I missed. There may be some high gloss. Those are really difficult for me to see uh, with my bare eye. I might see them when I um, sort of do a log of these cards later. Uh, you might have seen some, I didn't. So let me just do a quick recap uh, of this really fun box of the 2009-2010 Upper Deck Series 1 uh, from 2009, from I guess November 2009. So we have loads of these uh, base cards. Uh, I could have missed one or two high glosses or, or exclusives. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Uh, this was a retail box, uh, so here's the other stack of these. Now let's go on to our goodies while we're at it. So we got two of these Hockey Heroes. Hockey Heroes subset, 11 card subset of all Marty Brodeur. We got two of that. We got two of the all-world team, and they happen to be Canadians as opposed to another sort of world team. Uh, we got Spezza and we got Eric Stahl. So that's our second uh, l dabbling into, um, what am I saying, into subsets. Um, so these are just some base cards that I left standing around. We got draft gems, two of the draft gems, and the draft gems were Pavel Datsuk and Marty Turco, a fifth rounder and a sixth rounder who proved to be uh, superstars within the league. What else did we get? We did get two checklists, which are base cards essentially, but but they're kind of cool. Uh, card number 199 and 200, always good cards to get because one is of the Crosby, the other is of the Roberto Luongo. We did get the season highlights, and this is a short subset of, I don't know how many, seven cards, something like that. And we got the first card of that subset, and it is the Captain Sidney the Kidney lifting the cup for the first time as the youngest captain in the history of the game. We got two of these franchise, uh, faces of the franchise. One is the Brodeur, the other one is of the Sydney the Kidney. We did get a Top Guns, another one of the subsets, and we hit the Iggy. Uh, what else? We did get this jersey card. We got a jersey card of Marc-Antoine Pouliot, an um, upper deck game jersey. Uh, these, you can pretty much buy these sets, actually, for not that much money. You know, you probably can get an entire set of these for like 100 bucks if you wait long enough. Uh, but they're worth about a buck, two bucks, three bucks a card, depending on who it is. Then in terms of my young guns, I got six young guns in this retail box. I got Tyler Myers. I got TJ Galliardi. I got Michael Newverth. 
I got JVR. I got Antin Yemi. And I got Mike Santarelli. So that's it. Uh, six young guns, all good young guns. Um, I'm going to buy another box of this because I do believe I can all hit the Carlson uh, or the um, whatever, or the Headman <laughs> or the John Tavares. I will hit it. I just feel like the odds are good to hit great players. Um, I'm happy though with all my semi stars. So that's it, guys. This is this was a box of the 2009-2010. Upper Deck, Series 1. I'm Fulton Cars, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York.